So guys, welcome back to the last episode of the Southampton career mode for season two. I, I don't even like I can't end the season two any better than this. First off, a huge Euro final game here against Everton away from home or. It isn't really gonna be away from home, but yeah, it's gonna be in a different arena. It's not gonna be at St. Mary's Stadium. It's not gonna be at Everton's arena. But the final game in the Euro League, we are on in the final here. We're gonna play Everton. Everton struggle in the league. They f they're gonna finish on like at best in the BPL at 11th place. And then the last game of this episode is gonna be Arsenal away from home Arsenal away from home we are two points away from Arsenal if we win the title is ours we win the BPL if we lose I I can't stand a loss guys I don't know what I'm gonna do if I lose a game against the Arsenal this close to the title we messed up the last season Chelsea won the title we can't mess up this time we really need that title so let's jump into the first game here the Euro final against Everton I'm gonna play a weaker squad against Everton Everton because I may be underestimating them but I don't see them beating my weakest squad, so I'm gonna play my weakest squad here and the strongest team possible against Arsenal. So I will see you guys on the pitch. So guys, welcome to the first game of this episode. We are gonna play at Etihad Stadium. We are gonna play Everton in the Euro League final here. There you have the trophy. Holy shit, are we gonna win this? I have such a weak squad. I have Dongu. I have Ryan Seeger, I have uh, Juanmi on the cam, Browning, Augustinsson, Jose Font, Jade Rodriguez. I have pretty much the weakest squad possible there to save every player I want to. Cedric is playing as well. I'm, I have already men mentioned that, haven't I? I don't know. Let's you or Juanmi or Junami. I'm still gonna go with Junami. I know he's pronounced like Juanmi or something. But I like the fact that I'm saying Junami because I don't know where the like where the name Junami comes from. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with Junami. I'm not gonna go with uh, like his regular name Juanmi. I'm gonna with, go with Junami. Here's Steven Davies. Steven Davies, come on! No one to pass really. He gets it back though. Can he get to that? Yeah, he can. Nicely done. Can you cut it? Penalty! We win another penalty! Like all the time when we cut inside there. The defenders can't catch up to us and they drag us down and we get a penalty here. Is it Bertrand? It's Bertrand! The ex Southampton player Bertrand gives us a penalty in the Euro final. Thank you! Who is the best penalty taker though? I guess Rodriguez. Oh, that's on the yellow. This is gonna be a boom. No, we score. Really? What? I thought I was gonna miss there, but we score 1 0 up Southampton. Jade Rodriguez with a penalty here. I really need to get better on scoring my penalties. But we score this one and we have 1 0 up. Thank you, Bertrand. Maybe he wants to get back to the, his old club. I have no idea why he did that. Like, why did he give us, like, a penalty there like this game is actually a close one surely they haven't hit the target or they have hit the target like once but they aren't out of chances they have had chances that maybe maybe like one or two should have gone in actually the same as we had we have had like two chances that oh that really should have went in like that like that, like a chance like there, that should have went in, that should have been 1-1, one, one, but I don't know, we have the luck on our side now. Here's Rodriguez, I see Dongu here, Dongu please, 
Make it 2-0. Dongu. Dongu Tafak shoot. 2-0 Dongu. The youngster Dongu gets his. I don't know. Is this his like first goal in the EuroLeague or what, what is it? His third goal in the EuroLeague. Holy shit. 2-0 Southampton. The EuroLeague title is ours. Now we have one out of two titles that we can get this episode. Come on. Augustine sent to Davies. I see Ryan Seeger here. Seeger. Cuts inside. Seeger. Finesse this. 3 0. Yeah, 3 0. Ryan Seeger. The goalkeeper can't say that. I don't know. Is, has Tim Howard retired? Or have they sold him? Because if, if that was Tim Howard, surely he would have saved that. But. 3-0, Ryan Seeger here, a great finesse shot, oh he didn't even get a touch on that, holy shit, Ryan Seeger, 3-0, after 75 minutes, like, Everton, please, go home, you can't even score one goal against me, holy shit, we win the Euro League final, holy crap, look at the players, look at Jay Rodriguez, he's so happy, there you have Dongu, and who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Bertrand is so sad. If he would have stayed, he would have won the Euro League. Holy crap. Like sure, I can get like uh, I can get like uh, Everton is pretty bummed I got about losing the final here. But for Ryan Bertrand to leave the club get to the Euro final and lose the Euro final against his old club and just disappointing really Steven Davis here is he gonna lift the trophy yeah Steven Davis is lifting the trophy here and boom Euro League finalist holy crap Southampton win the Euro League I've done I, I've i completed one of my goals and in the next game we can complete a second goal which is a win and the BPL win the BPL holy crap don't go tough like Ryan Seager and Rodriguez with a goal each Rodriguez with an assist as well and Steven Davis with an assist so whew, this can be this can be a lot of fun in the last game here. So guys, here you can see the entire table here. How it ended for us. Or how it really started for us in the EuroLeague and then ended with the title. First off, we played Atletico Madrid. We beat them by 3-2. Atletico Madrid won the first game, we won the last game. And in the quarterfinal, we beat Bayer Leverkusen by 3-0. And in the semi-final we destroyed Manchester United with 7-1 and then won the EuroLeague by beating Everton with 3-0. So yes, here we have it. The most important game of the entire season. Are we gonna win the title or are we gonna lose the title? Arsenal away from home, the last game of this season. And top goal scorers Diego Costa and Luis Moriel are sharing that spot with 18 goals each. Luis Moriel can win it if he scores like at least two goals this game. I think Diego Costa is going to score one goal at least. So I'm going to put up my strongest team on this on the pitch away from home against Arsenal. So I will see you there and hopefully we can win the title. So guys, welcome to Emirante Stadium, the last game of this episode, or I, I don't even, the last game of this season, Arsenal are two points behind us, or behind us, ahead of us, if we win this, we will pass them by one point, here you can see, 79 points, 81 points, I have the strongest team possible, we have our trio playing again, we have, uh, Sadio Mane and Luis Moriel up top and Nabil Fikir on the camp position. I may be switching it up later on if we get if we get a bad start and put Gas Ramirez on. 
But I don't see... Oh, shit. No. 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 Holy shit, Potland. Thank you for keeping us in the game. Holy shit. Not like this. We're gonna... Holy shit. I almost went in after four minutes. Come on. Lay it off to Louis Moriel. Louis Moriel. Come on. Turn on the here. You still have the ball. Louis. Moriel. I know what to pass. Where are all my players? Here we go, Tete. Can you Tete? Come on. Oh. Money gets that. Money gets that. Money. Shoot money. Oh, Petr Cech with a great save. I should have I should have kept running and then went for a finesse shot. Oh. We, that was such a good chance, but we couldn't score in it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not like this. No. Oh, clear that. Clear it. Clear it. Clear it. Get the ball. No. No. Oh, we're one nil down. We're one nil down. One nil down after 12 minutes is Danny Welbeck. Oh, my defending was so bad there. Shit. We can't lose this. We can't draw this. We need a win. We need to score two goals against them now. How is the Bucci faster than Wendell? Holy shit, Danny Welbeck almost made it 2-0. Oh, the time is ticking. We need a goal. Lay that off to Wendell. Wendell, you haven't scored a goal the entire season. Please make one now. To Young Min Son. Young Min Son. Young Min Son. Holy crap. Why check? Why check? Why Petr check? Nabil Fakir. Yes, it's a goal. We're 1 1. 1 1. Come on. Oh, Nabil Fakir. Please, you're a god. What a great goal. Nabil Fakir with the finesse there. And he hit the defender and went in. Holy shit. Only one goal more. Come on. Ten minutes. We need one goal. Or Kraus is faster. Yeah, he is. Nicely done. He gets past there. Come on. We're inside the box here. Ward Prowse! No, we went up! Oh, that was the last chance! We can't score in a corner here. Ninth at minute corner! Ninth at minute corner! No! Oh, so fucking close! Oh, we lost the title, guys! Oh, really? Again, we lost the fucking title. And there you have him. Petr Cech. The only guy who actually did something for them. Oh, really? Petr Cech, you idiot. I fucking hate you. We needed one goal. One simple goal. We had two huge chances in the end there. In the 90th minute and Czech saved them both. They had one shot on target and he went in. Like Butland, please. Nabil Fikir with a goal. Assist goes to Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse has su had such a huge chance there late in the game. So yeah guys, as you can see here, 38 point or 38 games played. Arsenal on 82 points. They ended up on two points ahead of us. That game was crucial and we lost. We didn't lose it, we draw it, but still. So here you have it. Jack Botland has gone up to 79. He's 24 years old. He's very happy in the club as well. He's played 61 games. 26 clean sheets. Kenny Tete gone up by one. In 40 games he has one goal, two assists. Uh, Heidel Riedewald. He has a bad form but he has gone up by two and he's only 20 years old. So he's 78 overall. 54 games played, two assists. Tyus Browning gone up by three. Now he's 73 and 22 years old. He has one assist in 48 games. Wendell one goal and one assist hasn't gone up or anything he has stayed at 18 the entire season Victor Van Jama gone up by 2 he's 79 now and 25 years old 5 goals 4 assists in 40 games Ward Prowse has gone up to 78 he's 22 years old now 49 games played 5 goals 
8 assists and the newest signing or uh, this season signing he's been really good for us actually he's gone up by 3 and he's 24 years old 80 overall Hyung Min Son 13 goals 8 assists 47 games played Nabil Fakir been a crucial signing as well he's gone up by 1 already now he's 80 and in 24 games he scored 9 goals and 5 assists Sadio Mane he's gonna leave at the end of this season or at the beginning of the next season because he wanted to leave so I don't know I'm, I guess he's gonna leave Sadio Mane gone up by 1 he's 81 years old or 81 years old yeah he's 81 years old no he's 81 overall at 25 years of age in 40 games he has scored 17 goals and 7 assists Luis Moriel it, yeah you just that's the only thing you need to know like Luis Moriel like there's nothing bad to say about him he's gone up by 2 now he's 80 overall he's 26 years old 20 goals 8 assists in 47 games Steven Davies has gone down by 1 but that's not because he's paid, played bad that's because of his age he's 32 years old now 17 games played 3 goals 4 assists Jade Rodriguez 27 years old stayed at 78 29 games played scored 6 assisted 2 Sam Gallagher haven't played him I have put him on the bench for some games but I haven't played him he's gone up by 3 he's 68 and Juan Marie Jongut Safak like I gambled with this signing he cost us only 1.2 million but he has been crucial in the Euro League and in the BPL he's gone up by 3 already he's 72 year old in 18 games as a 22 year old he has scored 7 goals and assisted 4 and in the BPL he has played 8 games scored 2 assisted 2 that's impressive and Lloyd Escrow his his contract is, expi is uh, expiring in two months. He's 24 years old and he's gone up by two. He's 72 overall. In four games, he scored two goals, assisted one. So I'm actually gonna like uh, fix his contract, I think. Gas Ramirez, 26 years old, gone up by one. He's 81 uh, overall now and uh, in 43 games, he has scored six goals, assisted. 13. Shane Long, he's gone up to 30 years of age now and he's 76 overall. 13 games played, 3 goals, 3 assists. He did better the last season than this one. Matt Target gone up by 2. He's only played 7 games, no goals, no assists. And he's only 21. Patrick Colgren has played 6 games. He played 4 in the Champions Trophy there and two in the FA Cup one clean sheet 25 years old 71 overall he's not gonna stay for long uh, Jason McCarthy here contract is expiring in two months he's 65 at 21 years of age meh don't know if I'm gonna keep him Ryan Seeger gone up by three he's 69 overall now 21 years of age 21 games played, 4 goals, 3 assists. I'm definitely gonna keep him. Ludwig Augustinsson, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep him. He's 23 years old now. Gone up by 1 in only 23 games. And he hasn't been playing that good as well though. And he's 73 year old now. So Jordan Turnbull, I have played him in 8 games. He's, he's kept cl 6 clean sheets in those 8 games. So he's actually a good defender for his age 22 years old he's gonna buy two now he's 71 overall I'm actually gonna play him a bit more Harrison Reed gonna buy five holy shit 33 games played six goals four assists by a 22 year old ginger beast Nick gonna buy five already Holy shit, Cedric gone up by 1, now he's 79 overall, he's 25 years old. In tw 28 games he scored 1 and assisted 1. Junami or Juanmi, I'm going with Junami. 
he's gone up by one, he's 24 years old, he's 74 year overall, and in 26 games he scored four goals, conceded two. And Jose Font has gone down by two now, he's unhappy at the club, his form is bad. And he's been asked to, or he's asked me to put him on, on the transfer list. I don't know what we can get for a 33 year old, but sure I'm gonna do it because I'm not using him that much. And in 22 games he has 8 clean sheets, that's not good as a defender though. Sam McQueen, he has been on loan to Leeds United, he's gone up by 3, he's 66 overall, he's a left midfielder and 22 years of old, years of old, years of age. Jack Stevens on loan to Dagen Red. He's gone up by two, he's 23 years old and he's a center back, he's played two games, what? I guess so. Josh Smith, or no, Josh Sims, I'm sorry, he's at loan at Valsal. He's gone up by four and he's 20 years old, so I may be calling him back and training, training him myself actually. And Jake Keith gone up by two, he's been on loan to Wolves. He's 21 years of old now, and he's 77 overall. Dominic Gape is a center midfielder. He's actually played one game in the FA Cup for some reason, not the, not for me. And he's alone on at uh, uh, Wigan Athletic. He's gonna play 366 overall at 22 years of old. And yeah, that's the entire squad report so too bad we missed out on the title there but we won the Euroleagues we have two goals to uh, to complete in the next season which is win the BPL and win uh, the Champions League and if we can do that it's the end of this season or it's the end of this series so if you wanna see me play a season 3 of uh, of the Southampton career mode comment that down below leave a like subscribe so you can keep up with, uh, with my other videos comment down below as well on which players you want me to either like sell replace or keep in the squad because this is how the squad looks like as of right now. This is my strongest team. Should I try and go for another CDM? A stronger CDM than Wanjama? Should I keep Wanjama? Should I let go of Browning and play Turnbull or someone? Should I keep Kenny Tete? Should I keep Ridval? Should I let go of Ward Prowse? Should I try and keep Mane or should I sell Mane and sign a huge striker? Should I sell Gas Ramirez and play Fakir on the cam? Like these are the like these are uh, the questions I need to be that I need answers on. Cause Font is gonna leave. I'm sorry, he can't stay when I'm not using him. We have Turnbull and we have McCarthy that can play for us. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of season two. If you liked it, leave a like. Like, let's get the last season, uh, the last episode of season two on three likes. That would mean a lot to me. So yeah, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe so you can keep up with my other videos, and I will see you guys later. So bye.